Lightning 100, Asheville's independent radio, and that's one from Joy Lodacoon along with Marin Morris. It's Bigger Man, the name of that one. Hanging out in the Volume.com studio today with a with an artist who apparently, just like me, is a big Joy Lodacoon fan. I'm talking about Valerie June. Hello. Hello. Casey. How are you? Thank you for being here. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Thank you. Yes, I am a fan of Joy's. How amazing. And Marin. I uh -huh. mean, you got the best superhero women in Nashville ever, Man, okay? The, we, we are, <laughs> if we ever were to sit and talk about that level of talent, we, we should be embarrassed to have what we have here in town. We just have, we have everybody. We have everybody great, right? Yeah. So you have got an event coming up, and I believe this is tomorrow. You're going to be at the National Museum of African American Music, and you're doing a multimedia TEDx talk. Is that correct? Yes. Is that you? I, and I got it all right on the first try, too. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> so uh, Resilience Looking Within is the name of the presentation, right? Yes, it is. Don't give the whole thing away right now, obviously, because the event is tomorrow. But tell us, kind of, when you talk about resilience and, the, and looking within, what can people kind of expect from your presentation tomorrow? Well... I believe that joy is one of our superpowers that we all possess. Each person within our spirit, we carry an inner joy that all we got to do is be able to tap into and live in that imaginary space of dreaming and hope and possibility. And we can begin to see all the things in our life just open up doors, just gently open door, doors to our inner self. Mm -hmm. And when those start to open, then when folks piss us off and make us mad, mm -hmm. it's not as intense as it would be if we were always on the edge and ready to go off. And so it's just finding a nice balance and really tapping into your inner joy and activating that superpower that I'm gonna be talking about. That's cool. And then and this comes from from your experience in life and as a musician and everything else, I would imagine. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I have known some lows and some setbacks mm -hmm. and as a woman of color, of course, we struggle with our own issues in navigating life on this planet. And so I'm gonna share some of that at the African American History Museum. And and that is tomorrow from 7 until 9. I know uh, War and Treaty are going to be a part of that, too. I, I love your face just lit up. And I, when I saw it, that's kind of the reaction that I had. I, I love the War and Treaty. First off, the music is just phenomenal. And I, I've gotten to do a couple things around them where you just get sit and talk to them for a few minutes. They're just, you just feel good when they're in the room. You know, they're just amazing. And, you know, the thing about them that I love, I love the music, and I also love their spirits. Mm -hmm. I constantly communicate with them via text, and they, you know, text me as well. And we just keep each other lifted, yeah. and it'll just be something simple, like, I love seeing your light shine, or you're doing excellent. Just keep going, those kind of motivating things, yeah. and they carry that energy. That's how you know you're dealing with good people when they take that few seconds out of their day just to check on you and send some of that your way when they don't have have to do it. That's how you know they're really good people, right? I know, Very I know. Cool. Right on. Well, I notice uh, you have a guitar with you, and I feel like if you're in here with a guitar and I don't ask you to play, then I'm really screwing up. So, would you like to play something for us? I will. I'll you... play a song called Smile. All right. We got Valerie June live on Lightning 100 here in the Volume.com studio. Here we go. All I could do All I could do Smile. Life started keeping me, getting me down. Mm -hmm. All I could do was smile. Well, I dusted off. Guess I get back up. It was worth the fall. When the times got tough. Everything I 
through I make it through I make it through The treasures feel torn, tangled, twisted, and twined. Mm-hmm. All I could do for you was smile. All I could do for you was. All I could do for you was. All I could do for you was. All I could do for you was smile. I can't believe they let me call this going to work. You know what? <laughs> Hanging out in the volume.com studio on Lighting 100. Valerie June there doing one called Smile. She'll be doing a multimedia TEDx talk tomorrow over at the National Museum of African American Music. Smile is the name of that one. Um, and there is a video for that song. Oh, yeah. And I love the video <laughs> for this song. It, it is... First, you're kind of playing like a like a waitress in a diner. Is that that yes. sort of where? And tell a little bit about the video because I, I want people to check this out too. Well, it was filmed here in Nashville, mm-hmm. so some of the scenes might be very familiar to mm-hmm. y'all. Over at the Dive Bar Hotel, over there, um, I think it's Dickerson in that area, mm-hmm. and it's the coolest little bar. I tell you, we <laughs> had some amazing dancers. Sunny mm-hmm. um, was the choreographer, and I said I want to make an '80s music video mm-hmm. where we just dance like crazy and we get down and i had a wonderful girl as a stylist here her name is portia and laura and tony filmed it her directors here and we just got down we had so much fun and there were amazing smiles all day and they made me this gigantic wig that looks like one from the (laughs) 80s that janet jackson or whitney houston would have worn i know the one you're talking about it overtakes me i mean it's huge and i'm I'm assuming this is uh there's a point the video where there's sort of uh, just some quick shots of people dancing in like different eras and styles and that kind of thing. And I'm assuming you're talking about the kind of an 80s infused one with just hair just for days. It's right? all yeah. hair. Yeah. And I love, <laughs> and I noticed too, like it's such a happy, positive thing. Like even there's one of those, and I think it's one of the ones that has more of like a 70s influence, but I caught in the background. There's a smiley face made out of, I think it's mirror balls and like a wall sconce. A disco ball smiley face. Yes, that is amazing. (laughs) I love it. We're we're talking about the video of Smile from Valerie June. If you you haven't seen it, um, you need to check it out. Was it one of those things, because I know there's a couple scenes in there where people are pretty much just sitting like still like mannequins while you're doing your thing. Was it one of those things like, man, I really don't want to screw this up because I'm just going to make them have to sit still like that all day. Uh, it kind of was. Yeah? It was. But you know, it went so fast. Laura and Tony were so easy to work with that uh-huh. we just had so much fun. They were all fine standing in frozen motion just like <laughs> still as they could be in those boots. All right. And I went around and awakened each one of them with this <laughs> magic fairy dust and they just woke up and started dancing. That's- and we did a soul train Line. I and I actually <laughs> I don't know if you can read my chicken scratch or not. I have Soul Train line written in my notes oh, for yeah. this. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was you know, you, you you can never you can never discount a good Soul Train line. No. Even here in twenty twenty one, you gotta have them every now and again. It's good for the soul, right? It is. <laughs> it's soul. Music. Well, you got a soul train line. Right on. We're talking to Valerie <laughs> June on Lightning 100 to the volume.com studio. And you, you brought this in and gave it to me. And I wanted to ask you about this. Um, you are a published author, correct? I am. Yeah. I'm holding it in my hand right now. Maps for the Modern World. Tell people what this is I'm holding. Well, it's a book of poetry and insights and essays that I wrote, and it came out about a month after my new record, which is The Moon and Stars Prescriptions for Dreamers. And both of the projects are pieces that I put out into the world with the hopes that people might be inspired to, to like, live their light and shine as brightly as they possibly can. So I call them my little seeds of light. Nice. And I just put them out there, and there's little positive messages in there and things that keep you going when you're feeling low. Do, do you ever frown? 
Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to cuss on the show. That's sorry. okay. That's okay. We're, we I'm can sorry. we can let that one go. Okay. We can let that one go. That's okay. okay. That's all right. <laughs> Look, I will be on the floor in tears when I need to be, and uh-huh. I get it out. And I sit with my pain, and I sit with my trauma, and I process it, and I look at it from all angles. And then I'm like an alchemist who turns the, you know, metals all to mm-hmm. gold. I'll take all of that darkness. Things. Yeah. Yeah. And I will <laughs> transform it into something I can use. I use it like fuel. I, I'll bet you we'll probably hear about some of that, oh, I don't know, resilience, maybe looking within tomorrow. Exactly. I think that's why they call See, me. I think that's what it is. We need, we need a multimedia TEDx talk exploring the theme of resilience looking within. Who can we get? I'll bet you. I'll bet you Valerie June will come do it. That's exactly that's That's how you get booked. You got to do it. I like that. We are hanging out with Valerie June here in the volume.com studio. Um, when Call Me a Fool came out, I'm, I'm one of those people. I just live and breathe and, and, and live and die records. That's just me. That's how I'm in this line of work. So when that album comes out, Doing my research, you know, looking, hey, what's on it? You know, da, da, da. And a name jumped out at me, and I would be remiss if I did not ask you about Carla Thomas. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. We're talking about my fairy godmother, okay? Okay. She is the queen of Memphis soul. Yes, she is. And, and that, to me, just a queen all around. And let's be clear, that queen of Memphis soul thing, that's not a marketing gimmick. That's that's gospel. Yeah, it's yeah. the gospel truth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it might be written somewhere yeah. in Genesis. <laughs> Carla Thomas. <laughs> well, that's, I think maybe, in maybe the, the, the there book was of Rufus. Carla Thomas. The oh, book of yeah! Rufus. There you oh, go. God, Ah, I see? Like that. We're getting I deep, like and I like that. that. I like that. So how how did you hook up with Carla Thomas? Well, we I lived in Memphis for about a decade, mm-hmm. and as I lived there, there were many times when I would hear that Carla was playing, but I wasn't really able to go up and meet her at those shows. And so I called Boo Mitchell, who owns the uh, Royal Studios over there where his father was, Willie Mitchell. He did mm-hmm. all the stuff for Al Green and mm-hmm. all of them. And um, I said, Boo, do you know? how we can get in touch with Carla? And he said, yeah, we got to get in touch with her sister, but she's going to hook us up. And we got in touch with her, and I was like, Carla, please sing on my record. Please. I love you. I love you. I love you. And the world needs to hear your voice yes, again. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, and I'll tell people right now, and, and there are you can go and, you know, she did some stuff with her dad's Rufus Thomas. She, there's stuff with him, stuff she did with Otis Redding. I would recommend to anybody, and, and I want you to correct me if I'm getting this wrong, too. Anybody, you know, Carla Thomas or or particular era of, like, soul and R&B type stuff, go to your favorite independent record store and find yourself a copy of Watt Stacks. Oh, yeah. That is, that's yeah. where you start. That is your education. And pay special attention to Miss Carla Thomas on Watt Stacks. Watch Just the videos, yes, too. Yes, 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 absolutely. <laughs> It's so good, that video. Thank you for coming to our Music History Podcast with Casey and Valerie June here on Lightning 100. This is I always love it when things go this way. I love this. Very happy. Um, I do, though, I guess I have to be a professional and ask you to sing another song. Could you do that for us? Sure, I can. I'll actually sing the one that I sang with my fairy godmother, Carla Thomas, on the record. Call me a fool. All right. Because there's so many times in our life where we might have a dream or something we want to go for. And we got to tell the world, when they tell us, nah, you can't do it, you can't make it, we got to tell them, well, you can call me a fool, because I'm going to do it anyway. (laughs) Here we go. They call me a fool. They call me a fool. A heart forlorn, a heart that's gone day new. Thought I had it under control, yeah But it shook me, grip me, grab my soul, yeah Heard it pounding, knocking on the door, yeah Mm -hmm. When I knew I had to let it go Mm -hmm. Don't you know I wish that I could help it don't you know I wish that I could forget But this new love so strong me mm-hmm. And it's a power keep me holding on Yeah, they call me a fool Darling, they call me a fool For your love, baby Don't be a fool anytime. Don't be a fool anytime.
time, any time for loving you. Well, I've been wishing things had been different. Mm-hmm. But I guess it caused it far the way they meant. Mm-hmm. When I lose the draw, you play the hand you sing. Taking land. Well, I've been drinking, staying drunk all day. Got me creeping, but it's not late at night. Got my life twisted, turned it upside down. Just a food hang on. Yes, and they call me a fool. They call me a fool for your love, baby. y'all to listen to me has anybody in this world ever called you a fool have you ever been called outside your name have you had something you believed in something that was beautiful that you just needed to go on and trust yourself on you gotta go and let the world call you a fool your love, baby. Don't be a fool any time. Don't be a fool any time, any time for loving you. Thought I had it under control, yeah. So if anybody ever says, if you ever get the opportunity to to be like six, seven feet away from Valerie June when she's singing and strumming a guitar, do it. You need to do it because it's a really good way to spend the afternoon. That is Valerie June here on Lightning 100. Hanging out in the Volume.com studio. uh, A little Call Me a Fool there. That's what we were talking about before she played it. Carla Thomas is on that when you've heard it all over the radio station. And Mallory June is going to be at the National Museum of African American Music doing a multimedia TEDx talk with uh, Resilience Looking Within. That's going to happen tomorrow from 7 until 9. Warren Treaty going to be a part of it. Uh, Marie Shields. Marie Shields is the uh, Nashville Youth Poet Laureate. I believe I'm getting that right. And then uh, Tamar Smithers is going to be there as well. Um, Thank you for hanging out with us. It's you know it's cool to get somebody in here who's really talented, but then you get somebody in here who's like singer songwriter, you know, guitar player. And after talking to you, I think you might be someone who just brings their own light source wherever you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling good about me and the sun you, hanging yeah, out, well, there me you, and the moon. Abs- there you go. Right, <laughs> very nice. Valerie June, thank you so much for coming by. We, we do appreciate you for being here. Thank you, Casey. Y'all have a good day. <laughs> All right. Back to it in just a little bit. Some of that local lightning with Philip Michael Scales next on Lightning 100.